graph rate of change of functions. Describe and sketch the rate of change of each of the following functions. We have two functions for you. The first one is a linear function and second is a quadratic function. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the graph and then sketch the rate of change of these functions. Afterwards you can look into my suggestions. That way I think you'll gain more confidence. Now let's see how to do it. The first one is a linear function. We see that the line is having a negative slope, is going downwards. Now since it's a linear function, the rate of change is constant, right? On the other hand, the second one, which is parabola, is a nonlinear function. Rate of change is not constant. Now let's get back to the line itself. Now for a line, we know if you take any two points on this line, then the slope represents the rate of change. Any two points on this line will always give the same slope, right? So a good idea is to take the x and y intercepts. As we can see from here, change in y, let's say change in y over change in x really gives us the slope m for us. Now change in y is, if I'm moving from this point, let's say point A to point B, in that case we move downwards by 2 units, so change in y is 0 minus 2, right? So the y value is 0 minus 2, and change in x is from 0 to 2, right? So it is 2 minus 0. So that gives us minus 2 over 2, and that is equals to minus 1. Well, you can take any two points on this line, you'll get minus 1 as the result, right? Therefore, the slope is constant and it is equal to minus 1. So we can represent a line like this. So that represents the rate of change of the function, right? So this line represents the rate of change of the function f of x. Do you see that? So that is how we can draw rate of change for a linear function. If you would have had a line which is rising, then we'll get a positive value. Now let's look into the second function, which is parabola. Now to find rate of change, we can consider a couple of points and try to draw a tangent at those points. So if I take a point kind of here, then this is going to be my tangent, right? So let me just sketch a tangent here. If I take another point at this point, which is x minus 1 value, in that case, the tangent is kind of like this, right? At 0, if I draw a tangent, it will match with the horizontal x-axis. If I move towards the right, then the tangent will be positive, right? So let me take one point and just draw a tangent. Further, if you move away, then it will be more positive. That means the slope is increasing as you move from left to right, correct? So that is what we observe here. So as you can see here, tangent is negative. Tangent is negative still, but less negative, right? So it moves from high negative, this is high negative, to less negative, to zero. So at this point, it's a horizontal line, the tangent is zero, and then it is kind of positive slope, right? and higher positive slope. So what we see here is as we move from left to right the slope increases. It is 0 at 0, correct? And it is increasing all throughout. So if you take some values of this slope you'll find it is in fact a straight line and it's kind of like this. So what we observe here is the slope is always increasing and it is kind of. So let me draw a line which is y equals to x. So we'll find that the slope, 2x rather. So we'll find that the slope is positive. High negative values to 0 to positive. 
so the slope is so that shows the rate of change of the given function so it is a straight line so for a parabola the rate of change is a straight line exact values you can find by calculating the slope of the tangents which we have drawn so that is how you can draw the tangent and then figure out how the rate of change is changing as the value of the function changes when we move from high negative value towards a higher positive value that means when we move from left to right we see that the slope of the tangents increases from high negative value to a high positive value being zero at zero so it is a straight line as shown here so that is how the rate of change for a quadratic function can be drawn i hope that is absolutely clear thank you